It's just so cute. More computer in a smaller shell. Intel took the wraps off their next generation Nook with 10th generation chipsets, continuing the next unit computing experiment. I've been playing with Nooks for a couple years now, mostly down at Newegg, but I got this engineering sample a couple weeks back to take for a test drive. Intel has been making these things since 2011 under the general idea of cramming laptop style guts into a tiny form factor, which could live nearly anywhere in your home. We have numerous solutions for gaming or video streaming, but there are plenty of situations where it's still just better to have a proper general computing device over a, a media specific solution. It takes up way less space than a console and has a ton of IO. We get 10 gigabit USB 3 ports, ethernet, a memory card reader, HDMI 2.0, and Thunderbolt. Now I'm spending time with the lowest end entry level Nook using a mobile focused 10th generation core i3 CPU that's dual core four thread. But near as I can tell, Intel uses the same integrated GPU for the i3 as they do for the i5 and i7 variants. And Nooks are sold as bare Bone kits, no RAM or storage included. And starting price on this bad boy was $350. Gotta send some special shout outs. Plex Store was kind enough to send over a one terabyte NVMe drive and Oloi, Oloi, Oloi supplied 32 gigabytes of laptop memory, which is a lot for my testing here. Major thanks to those two for the hookup. That brings the total price for this hardware out the door and assembled somewhere around $600. Popping stuff in is super easy. You just unscrew the feet and you've got access to all of the tape tasty insides. I of course had a minor stumbling block installing my Windows license because I've created the wrong kind of media installer, GPT, MBR, all that fun stuff. But after some minor troubleshooting, I had a full PC ready to play. So the first thing I did was host a podcast. The last two episodes of my weekly news show were handled by the Nook, and it didn't feel much different at all from what I normally do. I don't run the most impressive stream, but OBS, a camera input, audio input, screen sharing, it seemed to handle my kind of live stream just fine. I was a little nervous about a Core i3, but even jumping into some gaming, the Intel integrated graphics are plenty capable for a lot of less graphics intensive titles. And I didn't have any issues at all streaming 4K video online or video on my NAS on my home network. Honestly, I probably want a little overkill on the RAM and the storage, but even if you were to whittle that back a bit, we'd still be above console pricing, but you arrive at a better all-rounder computer if it's not quite as powerful as a dedicated gaming platform. I'm still poking around some of my Steam catalog, but 1080p gaming at reasonable frame rates doesn't seem to be too far out of the question. These days, I'm not really much for Apex Legends or Fortnite. I'm more into arcadey titles like Ape Out, Cuphead, Tesla vs. Lovecraft. Maybe I'll dig deep on some Hollow Knight or Celeste, but I was pleasantly surprised by some older titles like Arkham City, Yakuza 0, Borderlands 2, keeping a decent frame rate at medium graphics. And thankfully the little fan built into this guy doesn't get too loud either. I'm just scratching the surface on what this thing can do. There's just something really fun about tiny little PCs. Like maybe you're really serious about game streaming and you want a second system to host the stream with. Maybe you want an inexpensive family computer, media streaming, file server, a solution for small business PCs. I just dig the idea of this versatility. So I'm gonna kick this question out to you fine folks. What should I do with my Nook next? Marie really wants me to find a way to get Street Fighter 2 on here. I don't think that'll take me too long to figure out. So what should I do after that? And the only usage issue I've run into so far is how would I control this from my couch if I wanted this to be a living room PC. I'm trying to look up what the best solution might be for a keyboard touchpad combo Bluetooth controller. Drop me a comment down below. Let's have a fun chat about what we can do with some fun hardware. After I run this puppy through its paces, I'll also be working with the Newegg team to play with the new big boy Nook, which has room for dedicated graphics. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to this channel, talking tech and lifestyle. I really want to have more conversations on what we can do with this kit and how to get a bigger bang for our gadget buck. If you would like to help support those conversations, there are links below, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. It's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future content. They're really good people, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.